The Inverse, A Story of Fun with Mathematical Repercussions by Brian Smith. The story begins with Marcus and TJ when they decide to play on a teeter-totter at the local park. Marcus showed up first, knowing TJ would be late, as usual. What took you so long? I've been waiting a long time. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's go ahead and play. Sorry, I was working on my math homework. Oh, okay. Well, let's play, then. Ugh, why don't I get to go up? I want to go up. Let's stop. This is boring. No, it's fun. Why'd we stop? I was having fun. Well, I wasn't. I'm sorry. I have an idea, though, that may help this situation. I learned in my math class that if you take the weight times the distance and put it equal to the weight times the distance, you will have the two things equal. So if you take my weight of 75 pounds, multiply it by the distance that I am from the fulcrum of 7 feet, and put it equal to your weight, which is uh, what? Um, 175, okay. And you, mul and you put that, multiply it by the distance, you will get 525, which equals 175 times distance, which when you divide both sides by 175, you get three. So if you sit three feet from the fulcrum and I sit seven feet from, from the fulcrum, it should bounce perfectly. The math will work. Let's try it. You just have to trust. As they began to play, they realized that the math did in fact work, and they were having fun playing on the teeter-totter which proves that using inverse variation can help out a problem on the playground. It also proves that as one thing goes up, like the weight, the distance to the fulcrum must go down.